I review tech products from all sorts of different categories on this channel, but one that I continually return to and love is smart home products. From my wireless LED lighting to my robotic vacuum, I love having a connected home. And today on the review table, I've got a completely different type of product. This is the J-Cloud Aroma Diffuser. It's a whole home waterless scent diffuser. You can use essential oil in it, and it basically allows you to fill your home with a nice smell without having to put candles in every room or a diffuser or plug-ins in your wall. It can be more economical and it's much more hands-off and easy to use. And uh, we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna let you see it in just a moment. And in this video, I'm gonna, apart from showing you what's all in the packaging, I wanna give you a full setup tutorial. So if you already own one of these, you can figure out how to use it because it can be a little bit confusing. And then I'll let you know my thoughts uh, having lived with it for a little while. I'm gonna film this part, take a break, come back, and then let you know my thoughts if this is working to fill my home with scent. Now, if you're new here, my name is Jordan. This is the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. And if you're a subscriber, as always, welcome back. Before we crack this open, I do wanna ask, if you're not already, consider hitting the subscribe button, ringing the notification bell, leaving a comment, and liking this video. Each of those helps the channel grow. It helps me reach more people, and it takes you two seconds. You could have already had it done by the time I've been talking. So if you're not, please help the channel grow. I would really appreciate it. But enough of that, let's dive into taking a look at this J-Cloud Aroma Diffuser. So while I kind of open this package up, I'm gonna tell you you know, why you would want one of these. Uh, I usually talk about the packaging on this channel, but there's not really much to it. It just basically says aroma diffuser and has some kind of cheesy catchphrase there. There's not really much to it other than saying that it's white and this has the US plug, which is specific for me. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, this is a solution to fill your house with good smells without having to go room by room and replace you know, vials of oil or you know, if you have a, a regular water you know diffuser with a little like uh, cloud of vapor that comes out you have to wash it out every once in a while and refill the water sometimes they're not that strong and this is a more professional solution I was actually uh, turned on to this uh, by my aunt and uncle who were turned on to it by wondering about what smells they use in their favorite resort and casino you know uh, a lot of these big companies these big establishments they use uh, oil diffusers in their air conditioning systems to fill the whole place with scent if you've ever walked into one of these places you know what I mean it just smells amazing and you're like how are they filling the whole place like this it's with a machine like this granted a much bigger one but this is kind of the home version and um, they make these and it's not that expensive now if it's compared to like a single candle of course it's gonna seem expensive now I've got the box open this is how it comes to you I've already pulled out the diffuser right here so you can kind of see what it looks like but before we take a look at that itself I do want to show you some of the other accessories in the package now this is uh, J cloud is a brand um, it looks like this has got you know Chinese writing on it so sometimes the manuals can be a little tough to navigate but that's why you have this video so I can help you figure things out we do have a manual uh, here we go English right there for how to operate the unit standalone and then we do have a little manual for the app so you can download that and use your smartphone to operate this but you don't need to it does have a built-in numpad and if you want to go through clicking the buttons which I'll show you in a minute you can set it up without your phone okay which is always nice they also include a power cable just your AC to DC wall wart there they include this little baggie which has a couple uh, things to note in it um, has a warranty card, which is what that is. This is the cap for the bottle. So I guess if you pull the bottle out, um, you can cap it off if you're storing it. They also include keys to open the unit. Now you can put this into like a business if you own your own small business or something like that. Uh, it can fill a larger space than just your home. And if you don't want employees messing with it, they include keys to lock it or your, or your kids, whatever. And then they also include this little nozzle right here, which we'll talk about in a minute. And they include this plastic tube, which we will also talk about in a minute. And lastly, we have this little alignment. Oh, I just dropped it. It's a little alignment guide if you want to mount this on the wall, which it has spots to do so right here. Now, let's talk about the diffuser itself. I'm gonna push this down. This is what it looks like. And even if you don't mount this next to your AC in your garage or something, this is still a good looking unit. You can probably put this up on top of some cabinetry or out of view, and it's not gonna you know, look big and ugly and industrial. The white finish looks great. The finishing on the unit itself is pretty good. It's plastic, so it's lightweight. You can use easily moving around and it has some rubber uh, feet here on the bottom so that it doesn't slide on this side right here is where you plug in your power 
like I mentioned before, we've got mounting holes right here on this side. And then on the top, you have the uh, access for the fluid. Now I'll show you that right now while I've got it. Here are the keys. And this isn't like super high security or anything, basically just a deterrent. Let me put that in there, make sure I've got it aligned right this turn like that and then you can pull out the fluid reservoir which looks like this now this is a big bottle this holds I believe it says 250 on it so would that be 250 mls probably and it can run for quite a long time with that much fluid in it okay much more than your standard little water diffuser you have to fill up every day or two and to fill this up you just pull this off and you would pour your essential oil liquid into here uh, apart from that, there's just a tube going down, and that's all there is to this component. Now, if you want to clean this out, let's say you're switching from one scent to another, you can just put rubbing alcohol in it, from what I've read, run the rubbing alcohol through for a little while, and that will kind of clean out the system. If you have a clog or something, or if you just kind of want to purge one scent before you add the other one, you can. Now, to reinstall this, you just twist your tube in like that, slot it back in, and then twist your key, and now it should be locked in. Perfect. Okay. Now this is the front here. We're going to get a close up of this what I while I set it up, but you will see that we have a back and an enter, an up arrow and a right arrow. And with those four buttons you can navigate the whole menu and it's not too hard to do. It's a little counterintuitive, but once you know what you're doing, uh, it's fairly straightforward. Now the manual does have instructions, but I had to play with it for probably 10 minutes to figure it out. So uh, let me explain that to you right now and then we'll go over the app as well. Now when it comes to this plastic tube and the nozzle, which I've already attached attached to my unit right here. This is if you choose to hook this system up to your air conditioning unit. Uh, that way your scent is just pumped straight into the vents and then is spread throughout the entire home, which is how a lot of these are used in retail, resort, casino type settings. They do include this tube and you can find videos for how to install these online. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach the tube to the nozzle right here and then you're gonna drill a small hole in the output of your air conditioner and then put the tube into that slot. If you just look up whole home diffuser setup, you'll find videos for it. Now, one thing that's important is when you mount this next to your AC, you want to make sure that there's not loops of tube next to the unit. Otherwise, the uh, scent will condense and collect in the tube and could lead to a clog. Basically, what you want is you want the tube to run directly from the vent straight down into the unit like this. So if it does condense, it can run back into the bottle, which is how it's designed to function. Now, as far as drilling the hole and putting in the tube, uh, I'm going to leave that one up to you guys. I'm going to test this just in the kitchen uh, without the tube. You don't need to use it. You may get better dispersion, but this unit can function without hooking up to your air conditioning. So that's how I'm going to do it right now. All right. So here's a more close up view of the diffuser itself. I've got the power cord plugged in and I'm going to stick that into the side. You'll see the display turn on. There's a little bit of a beep and then you'll see, let's see if you can hear that. This is the sound of the unit. It's super duper quiet um, in operation. And it's actually louder right now because I have the fan on. If you don't wanna use the fan uh, and you just want the motor to work and shoot out the scent, it's even quieter. Now, since I'm bringing that up, let me tell you how to turn that on and off. You just hold this back button right here and that will turn the fan portion off, okay? So now it's starting to go again. You can hear that maybe motor noise a little bit, but you'll see that the fan icon itself is off. Okay, I'm gonna let that finish up and then I'm gonna turn it back on because I do want the fan on as I'm not hooking this up to my home AC just yet. So the back button will turn the fan on and off and you can see that icon there now. Now, if you hold the enter button right here, that will power the unit off and on. So if I hold that, it'll turn completely off. And if I click the, or hold the enter button again, it will turn back on. Maybe I gotta be more on the button, here we go. It is a little bit sensitive, there we go. Okay, now you'll see a few things on the display. We've got the time uh, and the day of the week. We've got W and P. W is how often, uh, or how long, how many seconds it's going to shoot scent, and P, I'm guessing pause, is how long it's gonna wait to go through another cycle. So this doesn't put scent out continuously like a lot of the water diffusers. It'll actually, let me pull it back up, it'll actually run uh, for 10 seconds and then it'll wait for 110 seconds and then it will go for 10 seconds and then it will wait. And you can adjust those parameters which is what I'm gonna do in just a minute. Now there are a couple other things you can adjust on the unit here. If we touch back and enter, we can set a password for the unit, okay? So this first time you'll have two rows of password and that's so we can confirm. I'm just gonna set mine to one, two, three, four. I know, right? If you're in a retail setting and you don't want employees messing with the settings, then you can make something a little more secure. I'm not really 
worried about anyone messing with, oh, I got that wrong. So we can go back to that in just a second. Um, these buttons are not like the greatest, they work, but sometimes you gotta push it twice. Sometimes they're too sensitive. So if we go cycle back through, we can get back to two. Okay, so now we can do the password if we hit enter. Now the password's set to one, two, three, four. If we do those two again, um, there you go. I'd have to put it in to reset it, okay? Now, a few other settings we can do here. If we click the right arrow, this will take us to our settings. So you can set up a different program for every day of the week if you want to. Um, I'm not gonna get that deep, but if I click enter, it's gonna take us over to program one. So you can make different programs. You can select when the program starts and when it ends. So I'm just keeping mine on full days from zero to midnight, right? And then let's say we want the wait instead of, or the runtime instead of 10 seconds to be uh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, right? You can dial it into how strong you want the scent in your room. I'm gonna leave mine at the default because I figured they, uh, they set that up for a reason, but you can adjust it how you want. And then we can go over to the pause time. We've got 120, but you can make that, that's two minutes, so you can make that three minutes, one minute, four, five, whatever you want. A lot of flexibility there. And then that takes you back to program one. When you're finished, you just hit enter and it will save it. So this was the hardest thing to figure out how to do. So I'm gonna show you one more time. If you wanna adjust the programs without using the app, you click the right arrow. And when it says Monday, your day of the week, you hit enter, okay? Now, after you hit enter, if you hit enter again, you're gonna exit out of this. You need to, from now on, use the right arrow to go through the different settings adjusting as you want, and then when you're done, you hit arrow a second time. Now the last thing that we can adjust uh, without using the app is going to just be the current time and date. You just click the right and up arrows. We can select the uh, hour, the minutes, the day, as well as the date right here, and then you would click enter to save, okay? So I've already got mine dialed in for what it is, and I'm just gonna keep it at the 120 pause and the 10 second wait. Now let me get the app out and show you how that works. So the app right here is called Aroma Link, okay? It says Bluetooth. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, two and 4G network options are available. All right, this is just kind of talking about it. We had to click to allow it to use my location while I'm using the app only. I, I probably don't even need to turn on that. And uh, we're on the Bluetooth right here. And uh, I'm gonna click it on here, device list. Okay, so it popped up right away. Um, it says negative 35 dB, which is how quiet this is supposed to be when it's running and it has the signal strength. So if I click that, we should be able to pair to it. All right, the screen lit up right there. The password, I believe, is what I set before, one, two, three, four, which is also the default in the app. It said success, but now it's asking for a password again. I think it's one, two, three, four, right? Wrong password, please re-enter. All right, let's refer to the manual. Okay, so that's definitely a concern because the manual says that the password is one, two, three, four. I mean, we can try a couple other basic ones, like we can try like zero, 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 zero. Wrong password. Uh, we can try one, 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 one. It said success, did you see that? All right, so yeah, I've got the uh, the Amazon product page right here, and if you look, it says to operate operation tips, the app default password is one, two, three, four. Um, and then it tells you how to you know reset it to the default. So we'll try it one more time here and just see uh, if we can get it to go. So if we go to Bluetooth and we click the app, um, one, two, three, four, confirm. It says wrong password. All right guys, so I've been trying and trying to get this to work with the app, but for some reason, the Bluetooth password that they give is not working. Now, looking at the reviews for this, it seems that's a common problem. It shouldn't be, but unfortunately it is. But what we can do is we can reset the device by holding these two buttons right here, the back and the right. I'm gonna switch this over to system reset yes and hit enter. I'm gonna let this unit completely reset and then I'm not gonna touch the password options once it does so. And we'll see if we can get it to work after this, okay? So it's just resetting right now. We'll just give it a sec. Now it says okay. Uh, and now it's starting to run right off the bat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the app back up. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth. I'm gonna click the uh, device right here. And then we're gonna try doing this one more time now that it's completely reset and now it's working. Okay, so that does seem to be what needs to happen. You need to completely reset the device like I just did right there. It kept my time and date, so that's good. Although it looks like it's in military time now. Yeah, and uh, I think it probably pulled that from my phone and now it's working. So this is what the app looks like. Um, we can adjust the settings. Let's see, we're on the pause 96, work 10 seconds. We can turn the unit on and off right here. Looks like it responds pretty quick. We can turn the fan on and off like this. Okay, you can hear it turn on and off maybe. 
And then set right here is how we adjust our different time periods. So you can see the uh, work and the pause time. You can see the start and the end time. You can see your days of the week up here at the top, which days it's gonna run and which days it's not gonna run. Uh, I'm gonna hit cancel right there and then I don't know, this is just kind of a timer and an animation. This is not a fluid level. It does not keep track of the fluid level. But all in all, it's uh, it seems pretty straightforward. And now that we've reset the machine, the app is working just fine. If I back up uh, device list, you can see that it's right there and we can get into the settings. So it took me quite a while to figure that out, but long story short, you do need to completely manually reset the machine and then it will connect to your Bluetooth. Now, if you don't wanna mess with the phone, I totally get it. I honestly don't know if I will, you don't need to. I can just set it all up right from the unit itself and uh, you can you know, decide what hours you want it to run. Now if you run it 24 seven, it may go through the fluid pretty quickly so that you don't run through your fluid. You might just wanna set it up for 12 hours a day or whatever hours you're awake so that you're not wasting the scent while you are sleeping. Okay, so that's how you use the display and the app. I'm gonna set this up in my home and shoot some B-roll and then I'm gonna use this for the next couple of days and I'll report back to you with how I feel that it's filling up the house with scent. Okay, so after struggling with the app for a little bit, let me overlay some footage of the diffuser in action and give you my final thoughts. Now, as you can see in the video, the little cloud of vapor that comes out every minute or minute and a half or so is very fine. It's just a little bit of a mess like a standard diffuser, but it is very, very potent because that oil is not diluted. I stuck my diffuser up on the fridge at first and then up high on a cabinet so that it could spread throughout my main kitchen and living room area, and it did a great job of filling the space. I did have to run it a little more frequently at first or just, you know, had to wait a few hours, but eventually the room filled with smell and it started uh, to just be fantastic when you walked in the front door. Now, the uh, diffuser, I had it set to 12 hours a day. I was started at 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and I had it running at 15 seconds on uh, one minute off. So I increased the frequency just a little bit and that seemed to fill the space pretty well. Now, I did not hook this up to the AC unit yet. I've gotta find a way to run power over by the uh, outlet of the air conditioner, but when I do that, perhaps I'll do a video in the future. But even right now, it is doing a great job of filling the space with scent. I'm just using uh, a kind of low cost uh, essential oil that I just wanted to try online. It's a pineapple one. I'll put the link to the Amazon product down below, but I wanna invest in some aroma retail liquid which is the official like you know name brand that the resorts and the casinos use and we'll see if that's a little more potent or if it does just as good of a job i'll also try and report back in the future on how uh, long my fluid lasted and you know adjust my settings accordingly so that i can get a good amount of runtime as a, well as a good amount of potency right which i think is a balance you have to strike but final thoughts on this thing uh, the product itself works fantastic no issues with the motor Motor, with the uh, screen, uh, it flawlessly out of the box, the timer, the display, the touch buttons all worked great. Now, it does take a little bit of fiddling to figure out the settings. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you've skipped ahead, you can see how to set this up both using the device itself and the app. Now the app was a little bit frustrating. The Bluetooth password wouldn't sync, uh, but eventually I found out that if you factory reset the unit, you can pair the Bluetooth to the device, no sweat. And you don't even have to create an account if you go that route. So all in all, uh, I'm gonna give this maybe like an eight or a nine out of 10 with just the, the caveat that you just have to watch this video so you know how to set it up. But if you do that, it works fantastically. And I think it's gonna be a great option for those of you that are looking to have you know the most hands-off, uh, easy to operate, uh, scent solution for your home possible. So I'll include a link down below to this J Cloud whole home diffuser. If you wanna pick one up, you can buy it through there and support the channel. I would of course love you for it. And if you're not looking to pick one of these up, you can at least support the channel by liking this video and leaving a comment down below. Of course, subscribing and ringing the notification bell always helps and I would love you for it. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you next time.